Good men gone, and where are all the gods? Where's the streetwise Hercules to fight the rising odds? Isn't there a white knight upon a fiery steel? Little night I toss and I turn and I dream of what I need. I need a chemo. What's up YouTube, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the little musical opening. Uh, I'm going to try and mix up the card openings a bit, make it a bit more interesting. Uh, I had a lot of fun making that. Hopefully it didn't hurt your ears too much. But yes, today we're going to talk about chemotherapy and exactly what that does and the science behind it. So cells in our body undergo something called mitosis, which is DNA replication, where a cell copies, makes a copy of itself, an identical copy. Scratch that. This is meant to be chemo for dummies. So let's dumb it down and I've prepared you a little animation. Let's go. Welcome to Gun's Talk on... On... Chemo for dummies. Oh. Dummies. So here we have the human body and you can see all the different blood vessels and the blood system. Now imagine that we replace all of these in the body with roads. So this is a network of roads going all around the body carrying all of our different cells. Let's take a look inside. So let's look at these roads. We can see all these different cars. Imagine that all of these cars and different vehicles are all different types of cells in the body. Now a cell's main activity is to clone itself or to make copies of itself. And we're going to compare that activity to the speed of these cars. And here we have our chemo police or Pac-Man. He's using a speed camera to measure the activity of all of these passing cars and cells. Oh, so there's a normal car, 20 miles per hour. Oh wait, what's this? Bingo. And there we have it. So our chemo police, our Pac-Man has caught and killed our cancer cell. This happens in different ways. In this case, Pac-Man ate our cancer cell, but it can also just stop the mechanisms that the cell needs to reproduce and clone itself. Um, there are a number of different ways that different drugs will actually kill or eliminate these cancer cells. The issue is that our friend Pac-Man here can only track the speed of the cars. It's not very smart. So, any other cell that is overactive compared to what it sees as being normal will also be eliminated. For example, we have hair cells leading to hair loss. We have bone marrow cells 
which can lead to a lowered immune system or um, anemia, which is a low red blood cell count, which means that you carry less oxygen in the blood, which means that you can feel more tired. And this is all because of the drop in production of cells from the bone marrow. And then we also have cells of the gut. Yes, this is what a gut cell looks like under the microscope. So, I'm going to be honest here, that analogy with the whole Pac-Man thing probably wasn't the greatest way of explaining chemo and chemotherapy, but why did I do it? Because I enjoyed it and I feel like it covers the main sort of points for you. Um, I know a lot of my friends are probably going to watch it and be like, gone, this was stupid, this is horrible, this is explained nothing correctly. In my defence, I'm a programmer by vocation, not a scientist. Um, all in all it was a bit of fun hope you all enjoyed uh, if you want to see more stuff like that I really enjoyed making it it did take a while but I really enjoyed making it so let me know if anybody wants a more scientific proper definition and proper look at exactly how chemotherapy works let me know and I'll try and make a video for that as well so as usual leave a like if you liked dislike if you disliked leave a comment with any feedback or any questions that you have and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Let's go challengers! <gasps> oh, what was that? Let's go challengers. Let's, let's go challenger, let's go challengers. My three. Where have all the good men gone?